Marvel Spider-Man 2 is not getting any story DLC, but is this a bad thing? Let's talk about it. Hello there everybody and welcome to the Comfy Spot. My name is Tyler and today we are going to be talking about Marvel Spider-Man 2 and its lack of any story DLC coming down the pipeline. This past weekend we got the official announcement that Marvel Spider-Man 2 will be coming to PC very soon, specifically on January 30th, 2025, and it's going to be coming to Steam and the Epic Game Store, which this is great news, that's awesome, it is coming to PC at long last, although it is only about a year and three months or so after it first came out on PS5, so as we can see that window between PS5 launch and PC launch for PlayStation's first party games, it is getting tinier and tinier bit by bit with each new release but that's neither here nor there alongside this news though came the announcement from insomniac that they are not working on they are not going to be releasing any additional story content for the game meaning that long awaited that long rumored story dlc that people were hoping for from marvel spider-man 2 is not happening and it's been interesting seeing the reaction from the community online about this because a lot of people that I've been seeing, um, you know, comment and react to this has been, they've been really just angry and upset and frustrated by it. And I'm honestly confused and puzzled as to why they are so angry and upset about this. I mean, you know, when I when I see people talking about it, they're generally saying, oh man, Spider-Man 1 got DLC, it got three, uh, three bits of DLC, it told a whole story, now we're getting nothing with this, how could they do that? Oh, uh, there were leaked information and the leaks that there were, you know, there was gonna be DLC involving, I believe, Beetle and Carnage, how could we not get that DLC, what are, what are they doing here, what's going on, and it's like, I, like, okay, it's, it's, there's layers to this, you know, one, just because Spider-Man 1 got DLC does not mean that we are guaranteed or entitled to DLC for Spider-Man 2. The, like, there is no equivalency there. So, you know, I understand maybe expecting it or hoping for it because Spider-Man 1 did get some pretty cool substantial story DLC, but that doesn't mean that it is going to happen or has to happen for Spider-Man 2. That's number one in my opinion. Number two is the fact that, yes, in the, when Insomniac was hacked last year, uh, amongst all the information that came out, there was some information regarding planned DLC content that they were kicking around behind the scenes over there, involving uh, with the villain Beetle, involving uh, Carnage, possibly following up on the storyline that was built up in Spider-Man 2's uh, side quest that revealed Carnage was going to be at play in some way, shape, or form in the future. Uh, and I think there was some other DLC content that was in those leaks as well that Insomniac was potentially considering working on planning to release for Spider-Man 2 in the future. But the thing is, that is just leaked information and it is just plans specifically, okay? So that does nothing concrete. There is nothing official about that. Those things are just ideas that they were considering doing. There was nothing saying, yeah, this is definitely going to happen. We are definitely going to make this. This is definitely going to come out. You know, plans change all the time when game development. You could be planning to release a whole level and then that level gets cut, you know, you know, at some point during development for a many number of different reasons. So just because there was DLC plans that they were working on at some point in time uh, in the development of Marvel Spider-Man 2, it does not mean that it is going to come out after the game is released. They could decide, you know what, it's not real. This DLC, the story that we have here for it, it's not worth being put into a DLC. It's maybe, you know, more just like maybe just as a side quest in the next game, or maybe they want to do something bigger with it entirely. Who knows? Whatever the case may be. But also, we do have to take into account the fact that that hack of Insomniac, it did put them in a bad spot, you know, because a whole lot of personal information was released regarding their employees on top of a number of other, um, you know, private information regarding the business behind the scenes. So like that hack really kind of, you know, shifted all gears in terms of priorities for Insomniac once that came out. 
And then we also need to take into account the third factor here, that being that Insomniac is very likely all hands on deck regarding the uh, Marvel's Wolverine. That game was announced back in 2021. Haven't heard much about it since then. Because of that Insomniac hack, there was a purported release year window in there of, I believe, 2026. Nothing confirmed, though, of course. But because we know that that game is very highly anticipated, that's their next big project, it stands to reason that, you know, I'm, I'm sure they have, they have other teams working on other stuff. But Marvel's Wolverine is likely going to be taking up a lot of their time and resources. They want to get that game out in the best shape possible as soon as they possibly can. So if they have to shift focuses and shift priorities, DLC for Spider-Man 2 that was never officially announced mind you, never officially announced beforehand, unlike the DLC for Spider-Man 1, which was announced before that game came out. If we're not if we haven't announced this DLC officially, you know what? We'll cancel it, we'll put it on the back burner, we'll, we're not gonna do it, it's okay, we don't need to put that out, and that is fine. You know, I understand people might have wanted more story content for Spider-Man 2. You might have hoped that, oh man, we will get, you know, continuations of this storyline or that storyline in the DLC. It's okay to, you know, hope for that. It's okay to think, oh man, that would be really cool. But I think, you know, what I want to convey is that we are not guaranteed anything just because something happened beforehand. We should not expect a thing to happen because it happened in the past, okay? So, because, again, because Spider-Man 1 got DLC, we are not guaranteed DLC for Spider-Man 2. This goes for any game, by the way, not just Spider-Man 2. And again, I also want to say that, you know, it is okay to be disappointed that it's not getting DLC. Me personally, I'm not too fussed about it at all. I'm not too down about it. It's like, oh, okay, that's not happening. I wasn't expecting it anyway, personally. I would have liked more DLC. I would like DLC period, you know, being able to get new content in that world would have been nice, but it is what it is. I'm not disappointed. I'm not down about it at all. It's like, oh, well, that's just not happening. It's fine. I didn't think it was happening in the first place. So I understand if you want to be disappointed, you know, if you are hoping, it's okay to be disappointed, but channeling that energy in a you know in a positive manner in a in a rational logical manner is the key here i that's where i it, people lose me with the reactions i've been seeing where i've been pe seeing people say oh man how could they do this like where they're, they're selling us they sold us lesser a lesser game than spider-man 1 because it's not getting dlc i'm not paying 70 dollars for spider-man 3 because this one didn't get dlc how could they do that like it, it doesn't make sense at all to me. Like I saw someone else say online uh, to the effect, something to the effect of, oh man, the only thing Spider-Man 2 has better on Spider-Man 1 now is a swinging. Everything else sucks now, especially because it doesn't get DLC. It's like th these, these takes don't make sense to me. It doesn't make sense to me at all. And it just, it's just speaking from places of anger and rage and irrationality and not logic and being level-headed and just you know being able to just be okay with things you know not everything needs dlc story dlc is cool it's fine it's awesome when it happens and when it's done well but you know if they decided not to do it for whatever reasons they chose not to do it that's okay we don't need it maybe we'll get you know another standalone game similar to miles morales in between spider-man 2 and spider-man 3 maybe we'll get that Maybe we won't, who knows? I know there were rumors or leaks from that Insomniac hack regarding a Venom game. Who knows if that's still happening? Maybe it will, maybe it won't. Whatever the Insomniac decides to do though, I trust them. I want them to do what is best for their studio and their team. That is the most important thing, the health of their team and you know, making sure that they are not being overworked, overburdened, pressured to make things because, you know, oh, fans fans expect this, fans are demanding this, we have to do this because they want it, they're demanding it. No, do what is best for your team, do what is best for the games that you are making, do what you believe is the right thing to do. That's what matters at the end of the day. So honestly, me personally, Spider-Man 2 not getting story DLC is not a problem. It's okay. I think a lot of the reactions that people have been having online is a bit overblown, personally. Um, again, you are entitled to your own opinion, 
but I, I just kind of urge people, don't react, don't come at this from just this place of anger and rage and just rah, 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 I demand this, we should have gotten this, we're entitled to this, because that's, that's not a productive way to go about things at all. Um, again, it's okay to be disappointed. It's okay to, you know, ha to have hoped or wanted, but when we get past that, it, it, you lose me when you get past that. So, so let me know your thoughts on this down below in the comment section. Were you hoping for Spider-Man 2 DLC? Are you fine that it's not happening? Are you a bit disappointed that it's not happening? Let me know all your thoughts down in the comment section below. Leave a like on this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel for more and hit that notification bell as soon as that way you know as soon as new videos go live. My name is Tyler. This has been The Comfy Spot. We'll talk next time. Have a good one.